Wearing a mask has been part of our everyday lives for a while now, but many of us are still trying to figure out how to do it so that our makeup doesn't rub off and that it lasts throughout the day as the mask comes on and off and on and off. So Grace, what are your tips for mask proofing our makeup? Well, not everything is gonna be 100% mask proof, but there are little tips and tricks to kind of make your makeup still look presentable when taking your mask off. And one thing is pick long wear products. So these products like, um, the Superstay foundation that is 24 hour long wear, they have been tried and tested to be transfer proof, um, humidity proof, sweat proof. So these are your best bets to kind of stay under makeup. There's also things like picking um, powder foundation sometimes is easier because it wears off a little different under uh, masks that I, that I found. And then what I like to do is do a powder guard. So I use, kind of like a translucent powder, it's a loose powder, and right before I put on a mask, know where you're putting on your mask where it kind of transfers the most, so it's usually your nose and your chin and kind of the sides of your face. So what I like to do is kind of do like a, what I call a powder guard, and just kind of put extra powder just like where needed or where it actually sits the most on, and then kind of on the sides of your face. And that will kind of help when the mask kind of sits on, it kind of, the powder kind of acts as a really nice guard and it kind of, you know, picks up the oils, but then it, it kind of adds as a barrier, acts as a barrier, if you know what I mean. So give us some tips for what we should be doing with our lips. Does texture matter? Texture does matter. So I would probably stick away from lip gloss for now if you are going to be taking on and off your mask. But Tracy, you don't have to put on your lipstick when you get to work anymore, because I know you are a big fan of these Maybelline yes. Super Stay Matte inks, and these are actually uh, transfer proof, so you can apply it, and I have one on now, and the trick is, uh, this actually has 16 hours of wear, and I think it actually lasts longer than 16 hours, but make sure that your lips are completely dry, so don't have any lip conditioner on, uh, make sure they're completely dry, and then when you apply it, um, what I like to do is apply the flat end of the applicator and make sure that it's on and saturated. And what I like to do is press your lips together like that so the, the product kind of gets right into the lines of your lip and then apply another layer and then do the same thing and then wait for it to kind of dry and set. Uh, sometimes if you apply too much, you can always blot it off with a Kleenex, but I promise you it is mask proof. And what's great is I've worn this on set and 10 hours I can take it off and have my coffee and it's coffee proof and I still have a nice lipstick on underneath. It is the it is my favorite. It's my it, it's the best lipstick ever. Sometimes I will all of my makeup will have run off my face and the lips are still there and I'm at home like playing Uno with the kids and I still got <laughs> lips. So yes, you're right. That's the one I can wear from the very beginning. Um, what about the type of mask you wear? So is that making a difference in makeup transfer? Absolutely. So picking the mask is going to be key because, you know, there are some masks that kind of like squish your entire face and that's, those are the masks I run away from. I love like laser cut masks that kind of sit and give you a little bit of breathing room mm -hmm. on your face. So there's like almost like a, a bridge that kind of acts so it doesn't squish your lips. Another thing that I like to do is I like using like a makeup spray. It's a setting spray that kind of helps boost the longevity of your makeup. And what I like to do is spray my entire face, but also then spray the inside of the mask as well. Great tips, Grace.